Hi, I'm Meng, and I want to show you how to use the Angle 2 library that we've been working on for the past six months. We've created the Angle 2 library to make it super easy for designers and developers to create their app presentations by just dragging and dropping a bunch of compositions, UI elements, colors, gradients, backgrounds, so that they don't have to worry too much about you know, how to present their mockups. We've made it really easy to customize all of these elements by changing the colors, the case, the shadows, the textures of the mockups, the presentation, switch back and forth between them, and apply essentially your final screen into these mockups. Before we start, we want to make sure that we have the Angle package downloaded. So that includes the Angle library as well as the Sketch plugin. To install the plugin, just double click on it. And to install the library, you're going to go to uh, Sketch. First of all, we're going to start a new document. And we're going to go to Preferences. Go to Library, Add Library. And then you're going to find the angle library. For the plugin, just double click on it and it will appear here. So with that set up, we can get started with the design. So normally when you want to create an app presentation, you want to create an artboard first. We're going to uh, the Apple device, maybe do a responsive web since we're creating a website. Select um, Desktop HD. And here we're going to start with the background. So I'm going to create a background first just by creating a simple rectangle and then I'm going to replace that with one of the backgrounds provided. Now we have 136 of these that you can use for your presentation. Once it's applied, you can switch back and forth if you don't like the background to any of the other ones. Then I'm going to create another background by using a rectangle and this time I'm going to use a gradient so now we have our header and all that's missing is a bit of text a little bit of mockups presentation and so we're going to insert our first mockup let's say we're going to use the iPhone 10 number 2 left clay white and maybe it's a little bit too big, so I'm gonna make it 70%. And I don't really like the shadow, it doesn't really add a lot of depth, so I wanna use another shadow. So here you can see, I, I'm able to switch back and forth between these drop shadows and choose the one that really fits the style that I want. I'm gonna select the number eight, which I really like. I'm gonna place it a little bit more on the right and I just need to place my screen now. So in order to place your screen, just create a new artboard or bring any of the artboards that you have created for your design. In my case, I'm going to bring one of the preset screens that is included for the iPhone 10, for example. And now using the sketch plugin provided that is free, by the way, I just need to do command backward slash to apply the screen. So now I need a little bit of a text here to introduce to my app. So I'm going to go to insert and click on UI element. I can use the title. Of course, using sketch overrides, you can customize these titles as you see fit. I'm going to change the positioning of my background to make it a little bit more interesting. Let's move uh, the text out of the shadow a little bit. And then maybe I can select another gradient that fits better. This one is pretty good. Then I'm going to need a button. So I'm going to insert a UI button. And we have a bunch of styles. The big one is pretty useful because it gives a link to the App Store. And usually as an app designer, you want to do that. 
Again, these buttons are fully customizable. You can change the background to any gradient that you see fit, as well as the color of the icon or the icon itself, selecting from maybe more than 200 of them. OK, so let's continue. Uh, we might want to describe some of the features or benefits of our app. I'm going to insert in the UI the benefit. And since we have a pretty large canvas, we can maybe fit four of them. But that's entirely up to you. You can decide to have three. And I'm just going to distance them so that it's consistent. You can also have three if you wish or make them bigger because it's fully responsive. And from here, I'm just going to distance consistently. Again, these elements are fully customizable, so I can change the background if I wish to one of these preset colors that comes with angle. And I really try to make it super easy for designers and non-designers to have these really nice colors already preset for you. Next, we might want to add a composition of mockups. So I'm just going to insert quickly one of the backgrounds that we use for angle, the diagonal one. And then I'm just going to put some mockups here and some description here. So I'm going to insert one of the mockups composition. So I'm going to select the number one. So as you can see, we have three screens and we can put a description next to it, like so. And again, it's fully adaptive. So if you want to make it smaller to fit your design, we can also scale down our mockup to fit better. But for this mockup to work, we need three screens. We need the Apple Watch, we need the iPhone 10, and the iPad. So let's do that. I'm going to create a new artboard for the Apple Watch, first of all, and then for the iPad. Then I'm going to insert one of the sample screens, first for the Apple Watch, and then for the iPad. like so. Now I have these three screens and uh, they're well titled so it's going to be easy to apply them to the correct mockup. Doing the same command backward slash I can now see a window because now I can apply to multiple mockups using multiple artboards. In this window you can customize which artboard, the pixel density in terms of quality, as well as the quality of the image if you wish to make your document smaller. So for the iPad screen, I'm going to select iPad. For the iPhone, it's going to be the same and the Apple Watch. And there you go. And so all of these devices using nested symbols and overrides can be customized to, let's say, a real Apple Watch rather than a clay mockup or for the iPhone 10 is the same. So I'm going to get the real version as well as for the iPad. So as you can see, it's fairly easy to come up with a very simple presentation using 500 of these mockups, including each different versions and the shadows, the customizations for the textures and the colors, and even the color of the phone can be customized to a different color if you wish so. So as you can see, you can basically customize any of these elements to change the color, 
the shadows, the gradients, as well as the icons and the text. And you, you have access to about 500 of these mockups, as well as compositions and UI elements. So hope you'll enjoy it and feel free to use the free sample of 50 mockups. The plugin itself is free, so you can definitely use that for your project without having to buy Angle. But if you want to go a little bit more uh, with the customizations, I think the 500 mockups is going to come very handy for designers and developers. So thank you very much.